Hello, Jesse Good here, and Brickset member Rocco Mediarte found the new LEGO Marvel Infinity Saga Summer 2021 sets at a UK department store. These images are pretty high quality and were shared on an article on Brickset. There is the new Avengers Endgame Final Battle, which I believe was rumored to be $90 with 527 pieces, a new Thanos that has a movable head, Iron Man, Captain America, Thor, Ant-Man, Scarlet Witch, Black Panther, and a Chitauri. The Iron Man Ironmonger Mayhem, which is rumored to be $40 with 479 pieces, and minifigures for Iron Man, Pepper, and Obadiah Stane. The Black Panther Dragonfire with 202 pieces. I believe this will be 20 with Black Panther, Shiri, and a Chitauri. The Captain America Hydra Face Off, a 4 plus set with Captain America and a Hydra Agent, and the Infinity Gauntlet, an 18 plus collector set for $60 with 590 pieces. First off, can we appreciate the boxes of these? Holy cajoli, these look stunning with the Infinity Saga border, Thanos in the corner, and the comic bricks of MCU characters. Anyways, the Endgame Final Battle is a huge winner for me. Sure, I hope it's less than $90, but there's so much I love here. A new Thanos with a movable head that has a stud. I figured that will be a piece that you can separate from the body. The new Thor looks good. I'm glad we're getting a Scarlet Witch, but the face print is a bit off despite being new. I do wish it had the skirt attachment for her. There's a new Black Panther that's really cool but comes in the $20 set. The new Iron Man figure has a nice shield design. The old helmet is back too. The build for the Ant Van is pretty awesome. The compound is alright, but for a wave that is trying to be more movie accurate, it just feels about as accurate as the last one, which was bigger, so I don't dig this one too much. It's nice to get an Iron Man 1 set, but the size on the Iron Monger is kind of ridiculous for accuracy. It looks way too big compared to the height of Iron Man. I guess this allows for added details, but I do wish it was more accurate in that regard. Aside from the inaccuracy in size, I think the build looks good with the mechanical feel really captured. The sticker is actually adding a lot. I hope there are more prints, but I feel only the head will be the print. Cool to get that Iron Man Mark III suit with such a modern update to it. Obadiah Stane has an awesome, perfect new face print. The Pepper Potts minifigure uses an overused face from my understanding is a bit boring and barely looks like her. The Black Panther Dragonfire is far from the most iconic vehicle, but I quite like its unconventional build caption Lego form. This is probably the most interesting build of the wave to me aside from the Gauntlet and Ant-Man because it is so different from other aerial vehicles. It does feel very downsized though, that is because it is a $20 set. I like the windshield at the front, and if you get the endgame final battle set, the only exclusive minifigure would be the Shuri figure, which admittedly looks perfect. The small Hydra set is definitely a 4 plus set. The motorcycle isn't bad or anything, just more juniorized than other builds. It makes me wish there were more Winter Soldier sets, which I hope to get in the future, but at least we're kinda getting one here. The torso on the Hydra agent is fine, it's the only new print, and the set is a cheap way to get the new Captain America. And the Infinity Gauntlet is just a gorgeous display piece. I love all the gold elements they actually use here to build the set especially. Anyways, let me know what you guys think of these sets in the comments below. Subscribe for more LEGO Marvel content, and I'll see you guys later. Peace out.